Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got some more plays for you guys today out of my favorite offensive playbook right now, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers playbook. I've been rocking with this playbook for a couple of months, and I'm probably going to rock with this all the way straight to Madden 22, and probably when Madden 22 begins, to be honest with you. This is one of the best playbooks in the game, and I think it's really one of the lesser known ones. Now, I've put out a lot of different offensive series from this already. I'll try to put links in the description for those uh, ones like the Gun Split Close, which is one of my favorites. Uh, I put a lot out from the, the bunch halfback strong I put some out from the tight from the stack wide flex is probably the most recent today I'm going to be adding to that with the flip trips now the flip trips is an old school formation that's not really even found in a lot of playbooks anymore it's kind of a cheat code because this is one of the few formations where you have four wide receivers on the field there's no tight end in this formation that's going to make this uh, especially good I mean I'm going to basically create a bunch out of this with a lot of unique passing concepts but most bunch formations you see like right here you have a tight end which is a slow receiver it doesn't really help you out but if you can get four wide receivers on the field in this game mode if you have a team like the Buccaneers you have four really good receivers or if you play mutt you probably have four really good receivers this is going to be an absolute cheat code of a formation so we're going to go we're going to start off with this I'm going to show you guys a couple of plays today but if you want to see a full breakdown of this offense on Saturday hit the like button let me know in the comment section as always and the fourth the play I'm going to start off with I'm going to start off with the slide trail this is a pretty uh, basic concept like I said a lot of these plays are unique uh, but I'm gonna start off with something that you probably see a lot of people doing out of gun bunch itself so let's pick the slot trail so on a play like this I know you know in the past to get four wide receivers into a bunch set a lot of people have had to do things like you know come out and spread formations and then audible over to uh, gun bunch sets to get four wide receivers this is really easy you don't have to do that all you have to do is motion in this B route now that B routes on a pattern he's on a he's on a motion release so you have to just put him on something to motion him in but the second you do now you have a, a three receiver bunch set which is obviously very helpful now as far as the setup goes it's gonna be pretty similar whether you're running cover two or cover three this is a very basic concept you can pretty much dink and dunk a lot of different uh, defenses with this look all you really want to do is put the a route here on a flat route and the b route you can either streak or i like to fade now the fade will pay dividends uh when it comes to the cover three beater so i would just be in the habit of doing that if you see the streak here basically is just um he runs straight ahead which a lot of times he'll get jammed or he'll get uh, route checked off of that so you want to make sure that the fade is much better the fade is going to be um the, the release you can see he just kind of runs around a lot of that so ultimately this is uh this makes you know more sense so get, get in the habit of doing phase because it's definitely going to pay pay dividends so all i really want to do like i said this is pretty much my setup when it's cover two you can see how this rb route just goes right to the uh, the opening and you can get a uh, one play touchdown out of this if you get a good catch and run especially since i got scotty miller who's my fastest guy i'm also running this to the open side of the field a lot of these plays are going to have the most success run to the open side of the field so you should be in the habit of doing that as well let's try we'll do this one more time like i said this rb route here because of scotty miller's speed although there it kind of got me in trouble because it got me to the sideline a little bit too quick i'm going to try one more time i'm not going to waste too much time on cover two but if i uh can get a a good uh catch and run i mean this is something that can easily be uh, a cover two one play touchdown as you can see once again the the throw is a little bit wide but you can see the opportunities there there's nobody really in coverage now against cover three you can do the exact same thing for some you know some big positive yards you can run it the exact same way but there's a very easy one play touchdown against cover three um, that i think would probably be preferential based off of the fact that i mean once again you can see that catch and run is there even with that cover three because they typically chase that streak you can really set this up to be just a really big catch and run play uh the rb route will, will obviously get open once again as you'll see i mean this b route here um you know it's just gonna drop back into coverage you, see, you can really really dot up for big uh big gains there but you can also create an easy one play touchdown to do a one play touchdown against cover three this is a concept that most people should be familiar with it's one of the best cover three one play touchdown concepts in the game that most people just do like i said typically from the bunch is you want to have that b route on the fade one more time put the, the, the a route on the flat one more time the only difference is this time you want to change that corner route you want to put that rb route there on an out route and a smart route this is something that most people are doing like i said once again out of regular uh bunch uh, but you can have way more success with this like i said the extra speed on the field is definitely helpful so you can see right there, that b route really got the, the, the jammed up he didn't quite get up the seam that's why i said like this, this can be a little bit hit or miss i'll go to the replay uh, to show you what happened there because this is one of the things that i've noticed about next gen that happens a lot you have your streaking receiver here watch how he just gets route checked over and over once by the safety then once by the linebacker said i prefer the streak i feel like sometimes the fades the better way to go 
you know, just try both if you're labbing this. As you can see right here, we have that easy one play touchdown right up the seam. So, like I said, it, it, it really, that time I was using the fade. And the streak will get there faster because he doesn't really run around like he does here. So, to me, that's why this has more success. If the if you're streaking, he just goes straight up. You can see, once again, like I said, he kind of goes around that safety and that linebacker. He doesn't get zone chucked from either one of them. And then against cover four drop, which is what I'm in now, you can have the exact same success. You don't even have to motion in the B route, though. This particular play um, will have more success on, against cover four if you don't motion in that B route because that way that cornerback stays out there. So, this play can really beat just about any defense a little bit of pre-snap reading you're not gonna have a one play touchdown but that corner route is going to have a ton of success you can see here once again i mean that's just 20 to 30 yards every time on that route and then last but not least we also have cover four i'm back here in the menu screen because i want to show you guys there's a difference between cover four drop which is what i showed earlier and I think I'm going to have to go to nickel to find a regular cover four match, uh, which to me is still one of my favorite defenses to run. But you can also beat cover four quarters. Now against cover four match, if you can recognize your opponent's running that, all you really have to do is put the B route on an out route and smart route on. Like I said before, cover four would be on a streak, regular cover four drop, cover four match, out route, smart route. Even with a lit up uh, Tyron Matthew, probably their best defender, you're going to see how this uh, route completely cooks that. And we're going to get easy, you know, you can if you throw it with good timing, obviously you can get a good catch and run, you can possibly get a one play touchdown. But cover four really struggles when it comes to uh, beating, I'm sorry, when it comes to stopping these uh, these corner routes. Uh, as you can see here, once again, like I said, it's really all about time and we get a little bit of a bad throw there, but you can see he's open pretty much every time. There's also a couple of unique man beating concepts when it comes to the slot trail. I'm gonna pick that. Doesn't really matter what man coverage you're looking at, but I'll go ahead and I'll pick cover two. This here has two, I mean, the, the motion route, if you don't change it, it's going to beat his man uh, across pretty much every time. You can see he can't get through that garbage. So you can take that over and over and over. That's one of the few times you're not going to make that motion into the bunch. But you also have the A route, which is a very good man being concept as well. Now your user might follow the B route, might not. I mean, but you still have you have two different options here. You have two really good options. They're both short game options. But they're things that you can take, they're, they're wins that you can take routinely, especially when it comes to the B route. Now the RB route also can have some success as well, but that's just a little bit more iffy. It's a little bit spottier. Now this play really has three different options. Um, you could probably give yourself a fourth if you wanted to put your, your X route on an in route and smart route them. Although I did, I accidentally did something else because I'm, I'm not used to using Tom Brady. But the way this play sets up, you have three good uh, route combinations on the right side as is. I mean, I could even go, you know, I could go with a, a comeback. There's a number of things that I could turn that X route into, but we'll just leave him on that streak because ultimately that streak will give me, um, you know, the, the B route will have more catch and run room. And he's going to be the main read. When I make that motion, which I made over and over and over, by the way, so your opponent really shouldn't see it coming. He's going to beat that guy under just about every time for a catch and run opportunity and it's really based off the fact that the cornerback can't get around his own players that's pretty much the concept that this play is designed for uh, and then you're gonna have a consistent catch and run so even if somebody's running man coverage this play will beat that if there's a user middle linebacker it might not work as well against this particular defense because there is a uh, there is a linebacker sitting there but the B route's a really good late pattern, especially if your opponent starts to use her over top of the bunch, which most people will do. They'll probably try to take away the RB route uh, more often than not. And then the A route there uh, is a really good route as long as you you know don't have a, a computer linebacker sitting there. So if you're running these plays like this and you're running to the open side of the field, you're gonna have a lot of success. So just to rehash quickly, the only real difference when it comes to you know running these routes uh, is you know against cover two and cover three you want to motion this guy in against cover four you don't motion him in you can see right here we just have the, the plain streak and then against cover four match uh, we have the out route and then obviously I went over the man beater so you see how this defense or this play can really be just about any single defense in the game uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video there though if you guys want to see a full breakdown of this on Saturday do me a favor hit the like button and let me know in the comment section other than that thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more link in the description below